Nicola's just coming up in a moment because I know what she has is the very latest information on the temperatures, the overnight temperatures that have come in overnight. We were talking. So we, we were pleasantly surprised. We overprepared last night. We did overprepare. Thermals, in, yeah. Full track suit, two Basque, pairs of socks. I'd put cardboard on my windscreen. What are you going to say over your pajamas? <laughs> no, Not necessary. Things aren't that bad. <laughs> we didn't need it, did we? It wasn't no, quite we so bad here. But Carol has the news for the rest of the country, what it's been like. Morning, Carol. Good morning, both. It's been really cold overnight for some, Sal. Good morning to you, too. In fact, if I show you the kind of temperatures that we've had overnight, these are the lowest ones so far. Dalhwini in the Highlands, minus 14 Celsius, making it the coldest night of this winter so far. Tyndrum, minus 12. Drumna Drochit, minus 11, all in the Highlands. Spit Adam in Northern England, minus 8. And Sennybridge, you can see, minus 4. So there's a risk of ice. First thing this morning, if you're heading out, do bear that in mind. A widespread hard frost. It's going to be a cold day generally, not really surprisingly when you see that. And we've got farther snow showers across parts of the north and also the west. In the south, we've got this band of cloud. So weather front sinking south. And there's another one coming up from France, named Storm Irene by Meteo France. This one's just clipping the south coast of England, bringing in cloud. And at times we could see some rain, maybe even a little bit of wintriness to that. So we've got the snow showers persisting across northern Scotland, snow showers coming into Northern Ireland, especially the north. And we've got this band of cloud across southern England with most of the rain in the Channel Islands and the English Channel. We should see some hazy sunshine in the south through the day, but the lion's share of the country will have a dry day with some sunshine. We could see a few wintry showers coming down the Irish Sea, clipping the west coast of Wales, possibly the southwest at times as well. These are our maximum temperatures, two degrees in Stornoway, Glasgow and Belfast, probably looking at five in Norwich. So a cold day, another day for wrapping up warmly. Through this evening and overnight, we lose the cloud from the far south. We continue with snow showers coming in across the north and the west. The wind veers around to more of a northerly, so we're more exposed to those snow showers across the eastern parts of England. For example, northeast England, possibly some of them getting in to parts of East Anglia as well. And it's going to be another cold night. These are the temperatures you can expect in towns and cities. In the countryside, they'll be much lower than that. Where we've got lying snow, we could see similar values in Scotland as we've just seen last night, possibly even lower. It's not out with realms of possibility. We could see a minus 15 somewhere. So tomorrow, once again, we start with the risk of ice on untreated surfaces where we've had some wet weather, a lot of dry weather, further snow showers coming in across the north and the west, a few coming down the North Sea coastline as well. Then later in the day, there'll be further snow showers coming in across northwest Wales, possibly northwest England too. These are the temperatures. So again, feeling cold for most. We're looking at a high of freezing in Aberdeen. That tells the story you need. And Sal and Nina, if you want something milder, you have to wait till the weekend, but then it's going to be wet and potentially very windy, even for some, with gales or severe gales. Oh, God, it's getting worse. Carol, thank you. I love that. A high of zero in Aberdeen. <laughs> That's a not high. high zero in Aberdeen. <laughs> thank you, Carol. Thanks. Well, you have been sending in your pictures enjoying the snow in some parts of the country this week. Let's have a look at the few of them, shall we? This is from Trevor. Look at that. Is that a rainbow? Is it? Perhaps it is, over it? the Conway Valley in North Wales. Look at those colours as the sun's peeping through. Beautiful. Um, and this is Megan's cat, who I think we can all agree <laughs> with that beautiful white fur, is doing a great job of blending in with the snow in Lancashire. Sort of slightly creamy against beautiful. that white. Very stylish. Lovely. Let's see what's next. Oh, I know this one. I know this because this is my dog. Oh. <laughs> this is a little dog walk I did yesterday in the snow near where I live. That's Sadie, who was a little bit cold. Oh, little Sadie. Does Sadie have a little coat? She does have a coat. Don't make me feel bad because I didn't put it on her. Not judging you. No. I'm just curious because dog coats no. are always cute, aren't they? <laughs> um, keep your pictures coming in. We're loving them. You can send them on WhatsApp. Uh, get in touch through all the usual ways. Email, Twitter as well. Please do include your name and, crucially, if there's a pet involved, the name, name 